you read that right now we can use hand tracking with the xr interaction toolkit as well but a quick disclaimer this package is still in its initial stages which means that only certain features are available for us like grabbing an object and scaling them and we don't have all the features that oculus sdk offers like hand pose recording pose detection and gesture recognition but i'm pretty sure those features are going to come to this package in the future so in this video i'll show you how to set up the hand interaction with xr interaction toolkit and how to grab an object as well so let's get started let's start by creating a new project here i'm selecting the version 2022.3.4 f1 lts version 3d core render pipeline and let's name our project as hand interaction xr itk and click on create project all right so we have a unity project open now let's go and import all the packages that we need so click on windows package manager and from the drop down we'll select unity registry now you can scroll all the way down till you find the xr interaction toolkit and xr hands so first let's go and import the XR interaction toolkit. Let's click on install. Now while installing, you'll receive a warning saying that the new input system has not been enabled and would you like to enable it? So we'll click on yes and this should restart Unity. Once the Unity reopens, you can go back to the package manager and scroll all the way down, select XR interaction toolkit, select samples and import starter assets and let's import the hand interaction demo as well. All right. So let's wait for this to be done. Okay, so next you can select XR hands and let's click on install. After that, click on samples and let's import the hand visualizer. All right, so with that, we have imported all the packages that we need. Next, we'll set up our project. And to do that, click on file, build settings, player settings, select XR plugin management and under the PC tab, we'll check open XR. So doing that, install the OpenXR plugin. Next, we'll select Android tab and do the same here as well. Now we are using OpenXR in Android tab because we'll be trying it out on our Oculus headset later on. And here you can see we have some warnings for both of them. So let's go and fix that. Now you can click on this and that's going to take you to the project validation uh, tab over here. Now all you need to do is click on fix all. Once that's done, you'll be still left with one more warning, which says that you need to add at least one interaction profile. So we'll click on edit. It's going to take you to the open XR tab. In here, in the interaction profile, let's go ahead and add the Oculus Touch Controller profile because I'm using Quest 2. Now, if you're a Quest Pro user, then you can add the Touch Pro Controller profile as well. And from the features group, we need to select hand tracking subsystem and meta hand tracking aim. Now we need to do the same for Android tab as well. So we'll select the Android tab. And if you go inside project validation, if you have any errors, you can just click on fix all. And once that's done, you can click on edit. And in here, we'll add the same to profile, Oculus Test Control profile. And here we need to select the same thing again. So hand tracking subsystem, meta hand tracking in, and meta quest support as well. So these are the three things that we need. All right, so with that, we have set up our project. Now let's set up our scene. Before we set up our scene, let's test and confirm that the hand interaction actually works. And to do that, you can go inside samples, XR interaction toolkit, the version that we have, hand interaction demo runtime, and in here, we'll open up the hand demo scene. Now make sure that you're connected your device using link or air link, and then let's press the play button and test this out. All right, so here I am in the demo scene and I can use ray interaction to press these buttons or even grab these objects and bring them close to me. I can even use the direct interaction scale them and yeah so the hand interaction works perfectly fine so now we can exit the play mode all right so to set up our own scene let's go back into asset scenes and open up the sample scene here let's go ahead and create a floor so we we'll right click select 3d object and plane we'll call this as floor and uh, next we'll create a table so we'll right click create a 3d object called cube and we're going to resize it to make it look like a table so we'll scale it in the x direction to 1.5 y will be 0.1 and Z will remain as one. Set this back to its origin and we will bring it up by 0 0.75. There we go. So here we have our table. So let's rename this as well. Next, we want an interactable object. So we'll create a cube. So we'll right click 3D object and cube. Now the size is going to be big. So we'll scale it down to 0 0.1 so that it can be grabbed by using our hands. And let's bring this and place it above our table as well. There we go. Now let's go ahead and create some materials for them so that they can be distinguished easily. So in the project window, I'll right click, create a material. I'll call this as cube material. Maybe change its color to blue, add it to the cube and for the table as well. So we'll just duplicate this, rename this as table material, change its color to something like gray and add this to the table. 
all right so now the next step is to remove the main camera and in the project window we need to search for xr interaction hand setup so this is the prefab that we need xr interaction hand setup select it and drag and drop it into your scene now this prefab if you open it you can see that it has an input action manager it has the interaction manager event system it has xr origin and this comes along with left controller right controller left hand and right hand so what it means is that in your game you can use controllers or hands so if you keep your controllers aside your hands can detect it and if you want to use controllers you can just grab them back so since they have already given it to us we're gonna make use of it so why do we have to reinvent the wheel right now in order to make this cube interactable you can select the cube scroll down and add a component which is going to be xr grab interactable now this is going to add a rigid body now if you want to use gravity you can keep this checked i don't want to use it right now so i'm going to uncheck that and the xr grab interactable component itself we need the interaction manager you can either reference it from here or it will automatically reference it once you hit the play button now the distance calculation can be either collider position or collider volume based on whether how fast you want or how accurate you want i will leave it at and that and the movement type can be instantaneous we want to track the position rotation we do not want to throw it on detach so i'm going to disable that and i want to use dynamic attach so what dynamic attach means is that wherever you're going to grab it exactly in that position it's going to attach itself or else generally it would snap to its origin so i don't want that to happen so i'm using use dynamic attach and we'll add one more component which is xr general grab transformer so this transformer component will allow us to restrict the translation in one particular direction or plane so you can just uncheck them and now you'll be able to move it only in the z direction let's keep it at everything for now and next we can enable scaling using two hands so you need to check this now there's one thing that we need to note and that is if we scroll up in the xr grab interactable we need to have the select mode from single to multiple or else you'll not be able to grab using two hands and scale it and then we can clamp the scale value as well so it's a ratio it's not that you can scale it up to 0.25 but it's a ratio so it means that whatever value that you have here is going to get multiplied to it so you will be able to scale it from 0.0125 to 0.2 value so that that is what this means and the scalar multiply basically tells you how fast you want the scaling to happen all right so that's about it now there's one more thing that i like to do that is to select the interaction rig setup and bring it slightly behind here so that i can easily grab the cube all right so let's save the scene and test this out and there you go we have a scene where i can interact this cube by using my controllers now i can use it by direct interaction like this or by using the ray now i can do the same with my hand as well so just by directly grabbing this cube i can interact with it scale it up and down or i can even use a ray interaction to move it and scale it as well all right so that's it for this video i really can't wait for the next update and i hope that they include the other features as well and if that comes out i'm definitely gonna make a video on that so make sure that you're subscribed and as always i will see you in the next one